Hello and welcome to KJ Designs, channel with free tutorials in graphics design. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a fish logo using the golden ratio, using these, using the golden circles. So why waste time? Let's get started with the golden ratio. The first thing we are going to do is to make the golden rectangles and then after we shall construct the golden circles from these golden rectangles so grab your rectangle tool make a small square of about 50 pixels by 50 pixels remove the stroke fill remove the fill and then apply a stroke So then after, create a duplicate out of this small square of ours. Put it here down, align it with the first one. So then grab your rectangle tool, holding shift, construct a bigger rectangle on the left, like this. Then from this corner of this bigger rectangle, holding shift, construct another rectangle. And then from this corner, holding shift, construct another bigger rectangle. And then from this rectangle, holding shift, construct another bigger another bigger rectangle make sure that it aligns with this so get the move to select all and then rotate to 90 degrees yeah so you can now you can reduce the size yep so now the next thing we are going to do is construct the golden circles inside these rectangles of ours, these, these squares of ours. So grab your ellipse tool, holding shift, holding shift from this corner, construct a circle that fits inside, that aligns inside the square. And then another one here then from this corner construct another one make sure that it has to align and attach the line of these rectangles of these small rectangles that we have Now we are done. So these are our golden, our golden circles. So you can now to just resize a little bit. Now the first. Now, after doing all of this, we are going to construct a simple fish logo from these golden circles of ours. From these golden circles of ours. So we're going to get a duplicate of this small, of this bigger circle. Holding control, drag to make a duplicate out of it. So then come to this smaller one. Holding control, create a duplicate. Align it so that it attaches the upper, the upper, upper line of this circle, just like this. Then let me move it a little bit down so from this bigger circle create a duplicate align it to this smaller one so that now here we can make body of our of our fish now this smaller circle we are putting it inside here so that it determines the size of the body fish 
so we are going to get these two bigger circles then create a duplicate out of them but i'm going to put it a little bit further here so now the next thing we're going to do is to use the shape builder tool in affinity designer the so-called XOR tool that we have so after aligning these coding circles of ours we are going to select all of these circles the first one here the circles on our left selecting the node tool come here up and select and click on the XOR tool that we have the XOR tool So after doing that, holding shift, holding control, sorry, holding control or command on your keyboard, you are going to click on the unwanted line so that it can be deleted. This works as well as the shape builder tool, the one in Adobe Illustrator. So click on the unwanted lines to be deleted. Then after, select all the points, the node points the curve points and then say join curves and then to make the tail of the fish you are going to select you are going to get this smaller circle create a duplicate of a bit put it align it to the middle part of this or circles just like the one that we had at first so select all it in node tool and then click on the operation of the XOR tool so holding control or command and keyboard delete the unwanted lines so here we are creating just the tail of the of the fish so yeah this is it so when you're done Select all the curve points, all the node points, and then click on join curves. So don't be scared of this. Just hold control and command, control or command on your keyboard and delete this line. So now we are going to select this tail of ours and bring it closer to our to the body of the fish. Yeah, just like this. And then after you can select all and then add them so that it becomes one shape one one compound shape so we have created this simple fish log of ours just using the golden ratio form using the golden circles we have created a simple fish now you can add any colors for this case i think we should add hmm gradients yeah let's add gradients we are going to apply gradients to this simple of to this simple log of ours so get the fill tool make gradient and then apply color so on this point we're going to use i think this this is what i would like to use and then at this point we shall use something of this sort yeah so we shall remove the stroke color yeah so here we are with our simple fish logo created from these golden circles so thank you guys for watching this video i remain kg designs for those that have been subscribed please kindly hit that subscribe button and if at all you have liked this video have enjoyed it hit that like that thumbs up button stay tuned on the channel for more tutorials stay blessed